Hey there, guys. So here's what we're doing today. Someone made a request in the comments. We did some experiments with construction foam, and here are those same wheels. Now we're going to fill them with concrete. We'll fill all four wheels, install them on the car, and go for a ride. So what do we have here? We've demounted these tires. It wasn't easy. We barely scraped the foam from out of there. Whatever. We demounted them and removed any remnants of foam. And now we have another problem. We just can't inflate them in order to mount them properly. It just isn't happening. I mean, you're not putting a tube in there to do the job. So we've decided to ignite them. I went to the shop and the first thing to pop to mind was ether. Here's some starting fluid. So I'm going to use it to detonate these tires in order to mount them back, except for that one, since it's torn. But we'll think of something else there. Let me show you how this is done. Well, I am not an expert at detonating tires. I'm a bit wary, so I've prepared this stick with a piece of cloth on the end. I'm going to get a bit of this stuff sprayed inside and light it up with this stick. I'm a bit scared doing it otherwise. Well, it didn't work. Whatever, next wheel. Yeah, got it. We got one. We've got to wait until this one goes out. Just a second. Great! At least I got my fingers out of the way. We done? So how do we fill these wheels? I'm not doing anything tricky to get the concrete inside. I'm just going to make a small incision right here. And I'm going to use it to fill them with the solution. Oh, it fell inside. No problem. I'm going to put some serious holes in there. After all, this isn't foam. All right. So here we have sand. Here's a bucket, and there's the cement. We're going to be making a sand-cement combo, without any gravel or anything. Hopefully it'll be sturdy enough. Let's go! What happens when you fill tires with concrete? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So, fellas, now all the wheels are filled with concrete. Here they are laid out in a row, on an even surface, and they're staying here until what's inside completely cures. I reckon we'll need at least a few days. The weather seems okay. All right, so they cure, then we come in, put them on the Zhiguli and roll. See what happens. A few days have passed, the concrete is cured, it's ready. We've brought over a scale. Just out of curiosity, a regular household one. I'm going to try to get a wheel on it. I don't know, I'm just really, really eager to take a look. I just want to see how much this thing weighs with concrete. 
Let's have a look. So I'm putting a wheel on. Let's see how much it weighs. All right then. So the wheel weighs 49.8 kilos. That seems like a lot. It ain't light at all. No worries, I guess. I still, however, think that... Then again, we do have some negative camber. Hopefully we won't lose a ball joint. We won't be going too fast, we'll take it easy. 20, 30, 40 k's tops. All right, I'm gonna go put them on. I don't know. I'm gonna have a hard time doing this. Here's the car. I'm gonna put it on a jack, take these off and put those on. These here lightweight road-going wheels. Let's do this. So yeah guys, I've mounted all the wheels. We seem to be doing good. I'm gonna go take it for a spin. See how this thing behaves on the road. I'm super curious. So here's the deal. We've driven around on concrete-filled wheels. As you can see, a couple of days ain't enough. The concrete hasn't cured yet. Maybe the water didn't evaporate. I don't know, I'm not a construction worker, I can't say. Anyway, it started pouring out of those holes in the rear wheels. It looked kind of cool. It started right after I flipped around on the asphalt. We do have a welded diff, so both wheels are always spinning. Perhaps because of that. Hey, dude. Since the wheels do have a slightly different turning radius, they started shuffling to and fro, and that's what made it crumble and pour out. I'm still happy. By the way, it handles much better than on foam, since those tires are like completely flat. As you can see, everything's good up front, as in excellent, it only poured out the back. In conclusion, don't drive on concrete. Here's another thing. When I got up to speed and started braking, I wanted to come to a quick stop, but no, it doesn't want to brake hard, it just keeps going. No wonder with all this weight. So yeah, don't drive on concrete. 
the hell with that. I guess that's it. Watch our videos, hit the like button, leave some comments, make your own suggestions, and uh, see you later.